Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel and on today's video I would love to share with you tips on how to save money. It doesn't matter how big or small is your salary but I'm going to give you the best tips on how you can save money. Especially if you are living in Middle East, there is a lot of things. So let me go straight into points so we can discuss, we can share the tips on how you can really save your money. Earning some money, it is very hard and saving money can be also very, very harder. So I'm going to give you tips on how you're going to do this. Write down the actual amount of the salary. It doesn't matter how much you are earning. So down, go and put your food expenses. So then second, put your essential. For example, shampoo, your shower gel, your makeup. So you are going to put the food, your um, essential needs. You are going to put emergency money aside. So this emergency money, it can cover up either either you are you are having some emergency you might be sick and you need to buy some medicine at the pharmacy so this money will cover you there if you have uh, some emergency and you're saving money let's say you have to help your family back at home or it can be for anything another thing what you need to to write it down you need to put like for example um, your own saving you need to put your target saving, okay? This we are talking about the same actual salary which you are getting or the actual income. And then the other thing what you need to put down, you need to write down also, you, um, you need to pay yourself, yeah? <laughs> yeah, you are earning, you need to pay yourself, you need to treat yourself. So you are going to put for yourself your pocket money. So here I have five, I've already split it into five points. So, and then I have another way of saving money. I always love to stay with some Kenya shillings so that I don't get tempted to use this money no matter what. And another way of saving also, I always will love to convert the cash also in euro. So in this kind of way, I will have my savings in different kind of form. Once you have started that strategy and you you can be tempted and you don't follow it then everything will just be messed up you really need to follow your budget if you are going to the mall you need to write down even when you're going to buy food prepare your meal weekly change your meal weekly if this week you're going to eat chicken next week you're going to eat vegetarian next week you're going to eat beef so research first what are your expenses or what do you like to eat and then you write it down so it will be easy for you to go and shop so so that you don't exceed the budget yeah so when you have categorized your money in this way i find it easier you will save more money you will um, you will be on a good track you will never lack money because you, you will, because why you will never lack money, you will not go for things which you don't need. You will make your target because you will focus what else you need. Here it's whereby you will not spend your money unnecessary, but you will spend your money wisely. I hope that I've helped you in such a way. Remember to write down and divide that money. Treat yourself with the pocket money. Don't be so hard to yourself treat yourself if you have already divided your money for pocket money and uh, you want to buy something you can wait you can wait for two three months for you to get that amount of money so you can get the item that you need and uh, for my fellow kenyans let's say for example you are here and another thing that you can add for that number five for it to be number six you can start to to think of while you are working here to put some money for your pension especially when you are around about to turn 30. I think it's good time to start saving little by little because we're in the, in the country where it's not like a mass for you to pay. So you are sorting yourself, you have your medical insurance, you have to pay. So if you're back home, you just have to look on things like this. You have to, to check like for your future. You have also to put it onto the list so that when people when random people or people back at home they will ask you for money you have your money in plan and uh, you will know now from which money i'm going to help my family or from which money i'm going to help so and so 
So it's always good, depends on your expenditures. So you, you need to highlight, you don't have to follow what I've just said. You need to highlight everything regarding either you are doing some part-time classes which you need to pay money. You need to write it down and really divide your salary wisely so that it will help you and guide you to achieve your goals and without lacking anything. You can work hard, you can enjoy good meal, you can enjoy going outside so that you will not be in a beautiful country like Qatar and then you work here for let's say two, three years, you will ask a person, where did you go? Tell me about the country you don't know because you just your job was work back at home, work back at home, of which it's fine, but you need to treat yourself, you need to treat yourself, you, know, you need to to save that money wisely and use it wisely when you are buying something or when you are going also to you need to cut things which can cost you yeah you you might go for parties and this this will cost will cost you a lot of money for just a short period of time and then it will cost you a lot of hard work to save back that amount of money or for instance yeah, I think such way. I think I've made myself clear and it's always good to stick on your budget. Stick on your budget, it will help you a lot and you will see the progress and you will save more money. You will achieve whatever you want, yeah, right? So thank you so much for watching. I think I've made everything clear and it's always good to share your ideas and if, if you have any other tips on how you can save money, please don't forget to put it down below so I can read about it and uh, it may help me also in one way or another. So in this process, in this process, we are both learning and until next time, bye.